I was joking with Matt Sasser, Chair Sasser here, and I said I was going to start by saying, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to James Earl Fulton of Athletic Complex, home of the Great Central High School Rams. <laughs> Matt said, you won't do that. I said, yes, I will. <laughs> but anyhow, it is indeed a, a good assembly this morning. We thank everybody that came this morning. Thank you so much for being here. And in our daily lives and activities, we all know that Anytime you partake on any great or important undertaking, you should first invoke the blessings of deity. Let's go to God in prayer. Father God, how wonderful it is to come before your wonderful throne of grace and glory once again, thanking you for all the many mercies, blessings, and comforts of life that you've given each and every one of us. You are so kind and so generous to us, Father God. Father God, forgive us for our sins because we do make our mistakes. Not a person here is without sin. We all have those thoughts that we shouldn't have sometimes when we get excited and emotional. And Father God, forgive us for our sins. And thirdly, Father God, we always pray for the sick, the distressed, the oppressed. We pray for others. You're the great physician, the great healer, the great counselor, and the great comforter. And Father God, as I make these comments today about praying for others, I would be remiss if I didn't pray for the recovery that our past share of Linda's goods is having. He's got a long way to go, but Father God, he's getting better and stronger every day. We just thank you for that because you are the one that provides. Thank you, Father God, for being the one that provides the remedy to all of our needs. And Father God, as we stand before this facility today, thank you for the opportunity that we had in the county to build this facility to improve on the efficiency of our sheriff's department. We are proud of our employees in the county. We are proud of the services this county provides to our citizens. And we are so proud to be and thankful that we can help our citizens. Anytime we can improve efficiencies, we've done the best thing in the interest of our citizens, and we thank you for that. So, Father God, I just pray that everything that we say and do will be pleasing in your sight here today. Thank you for this opportunity. Thank you for the greatest gift of all that you gave us through birth. We're going to celebrate in just a month. Thank you so much for that. All these things I humbly pray in your name. And in the name of your precious Son, Jesus Christ, our risen Lord and Savior, and all God's children said, Amen. I'll be very brief this morning. I do want to recognize that we do have, again, Sherry Scott Williams. We have our economic developer, Trey Cash. We have our family manager, Kyle DeHaven. We have Judge Hillard from James, the construction company that did this renovation for us. Josh Jones. Our HR person, Ray Hall, our Veterans Affairs person. And speaking about Veterans Affairs, we also have the commander of American Legion Post on the 94 Shirley Hill Post. American Legion Larry Schultz is with us this morning. Mary Dennis Lyles is with us. We have John Taylor from Senator Bird's office. And we have, y'all behave yourselves, got two judges here. And that Kurt and I'm Elder Pate, so you all behave yourselves and don't misbehave now. Also, we do have our commissioners here, Commissioner James Shackleford, Vice Chair, Commissioner Jerry Jones, Commissioner Ray Johnson, Commissioner Ray um, Derek Burroughs. We also have Commissioner-elect Bobby Taylor with us this morning. Um, I would remiss if I didn't recognize Dr. Hunt, who is the uh, president of North Community College, and Todd Whaler, who is the chief of the Snow Hill Fire Department. I've introduced a lot of folks and a lot of other important folks here. You're all friends and family. Thank you for being here today. Thank you for the opportunity that we have to gather together and recognize a new facility here in the, in the, in, in the town of Snow Hill, but the county facility here providing for the Sheriff's Department. With those things having been said, I will simply and briefly turn it over to uh, Sheriff Matt Sasser for a few words from him. Good morning, everybody. Thank you all for being here, just as uh, Commissioner Heath has said on that. I came prepared to talk for about an hour and a half to about five heads, and y'all just buckle up. I'll shorten it up to about a minute, 45 minutes. Please. No, thank everybody for being here. It's a wonderful, it's, it's always good. You know, I, I really, I, you don't never know how many people are going to show up and support you on things, and I'm proud of, of the fact that the folks that are here have come out and showed the support for us in this new office. 
Uh, this, this office has been a project we've been working on for, you know, I'd say probably a little over a year now, all in total part of getting the building and getting everything going with it. Uh, it started out, it was going to be a courtroom, uh, and, you know, then we got to talking about it and the efficiencies of everything else as far as, you know, security for inmate transports back and forth uh, out in the open. That would be an issue. Having uh, security you know, that we've already currently got, we've had to have double security over here with that. So it just made more sense to take and renovate the old space, but obviously we had to, you know, get me out of there first before we could take and renovate that. So I think it's going to be an efficiency on the justice system overall. Uh, the judges are happy. We'll finally have two courtrooms. We won't be cramped up in a, in a small one downstairs. And um, I'd like to thank the commissioner and the governor, governor body of this county for providing, along with the county manager, for providing us the ability to be able to do this. Now, any of y'all know I'm mighty proud of, of, of my job. I'm mighty proud of the folks that work here. I'm mighty proud of the staff we got, and I'm certainly proud of this building right here. And I hope it'll serve us for the next several years to come. And thank you all for being here. I'm gonna be short and brief. Thank you, Chair. There you go. Uh, it's, it's, it's uh, awesome. I'm, uh, I'm Buck Newton. I'm, I'm glad to be here. It's an honor and privilege to serve you and uh, represent you in the General Assembly and the Senate. Um, you know, part of my job is, is listening and, and having conversations and Kyle and Trey and Chris, the Sheriff and I and others uh, started talking about what the needs were and uh, we were very fortunate to be able to pull down some money to renovate the courtroom, but as the conversation progressed, as Sheriff Tasker said, it made a lot more sense, a lot more efficient move to, uh, to renovate this space and, and move him over here to create the courtroom uh, in his old space. Um, you know, the, the, the job of, of, the, of the court staff, whether it be the judges or the clerks or law enforcement personnel, the citizens of this county, uh, efficient and uh, safe administration of justice is, is very important and it's very dear to me. And uh, as, as a practicing attorney, I, I understand uh, and see the, the, the needs. Often the courthouse is one of the last things remembered. Uh, and so I'm, I'm very pleased we were able to pull together with the money, work cooperatively, <coughs> talk to each other, think it through and do the right things. And uh, Sheriff Sasser said, I really hope that this is gonna serve the citizens of Greene County very well for decades to come. So thank you for letting me speak to you today. We have a lot to be thankful for in this season, and I'm thankful to be here with you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator Newton. Uh, good, good morning, I'm Chris Humphrey. I'm your state representative uh, up in Raleigh, and uh, it's an honor to be here. And I just want to congratulate the Sheriff and his department on uh, the hard work to try to get this, this work down. Uh, we, we had some serious conversations with you in the county, and uh, we, we're glad to pull it through. Uh, let me wish you all a happy Thanksgiving. I know you've got a, you've got a busy day ahead of you, so I won't belabor. Uh, but thank you all for being here. Thank you for allowing me to serve you in, in, in the General Assembly, and uh, I look forward to many more good things to come. We've had several of these groundbreaking ceremonies here in Greene County lately, and uh, it, it's good to see Greene County is on the move, and you should. You have a lot to be proud of. So thanks again, and uh, again, happy Thanksgiving. As we conclude today in ribbon cutting, I want to once again express my sincere gratitude to every one of you for joining us to celebrate this milestone. This new facility marks a significant achievement in our ongoing commitment to strengthening the infrastructure of Green County. This is the 14th substantial renovation or facility since that we've completed in 10 years. And I'm proud to say we've done so without a tax increase or taking any new debt. We've been able to achieve this thanks to careful planning, strategic partnerships, and most importantly, a shared vision for the future of Green County. As we look back at all the projects undertaken, one thing stands out, the power of teamwork. From start to finish, this facility has been the product of collaboration and dedication. Our board of commissioners, the sheriff, and staff have all played a key role in bringing this vision to life. I'd like to extend a special thanks to the companies that contributed their expertise, Taylor Construction, Depths, Coastal Roofing, Harper Landscaping, Golden Asphalt, Piedmont Service Group, and Intercom Services. Without their hardworking commitment, this would never have been possible. The new home for our sheriff and deputies will serve as a hub of safety, support, and service for our community. It's a testament to the collective effort and resources of all involved. 
Thank you again for being here, and here's the continued success and growth of Green Capital. Kyle was supposed to close out in the program on that, but in my rush efficiency that I had while ago trying to hurry to get y'all off the street, I forgot to thank a few folks. Number one, Mr. Joe Hiller literally couldn't have done it without you. But I will tell y'all, if there's ever, ever a construction job that needed, he'd be the one to get, because he's done, uh, you know, we had a, a little snafu last night with some stuff that needed to do. Uh, I called him and he said, well, hold on, I'll be up. And he got up here at 8 o'clock at night with me to fix that up before we can get up here and everybody can see. Thank you everybody for coming. Now we're going to do a couple pictures and everybody get in and see what it looks like. Thank you again for coming. Commissioner, you're going to get a picture on Magic. I'll be getting ready to start auctioning in a minute. Go ahead, Officer Michael. I'm not trying to get in y'all's way here, but I'm going to get close to Do a mock, mock cut with a photo. Everybody, you share if you'll kind of do it. Everybody get in tight. We heavy on this side over here. Kyle, if you'll get on that side. All right. Ready? One, two, three. Look at me. All right. Share if you're ready. On the count of three, you'll cut. Ready? All right. One, two, three. There you go. Oh, wow.